Today I'm going to show you how to work the sea urchin stitch. So right now I've already worked knitting across the right side of the work in the contrast color. We're going to start the interesting part of the stitch on the wrong side of the work. And we're going to start with a regular old P1. Now we're going to purl the next five stitches but each time, instead of just wrapping the yarn once, we're going to wrap it twice around the needle before completing the stitch. So that was our second double wrapped purl stitch. This is purl stitch three, double wrap purl four, double wrap purl five, and now we have another P1. Now we're going to do five more of those double wrapped purl stitches. Two, double wrap three, double wrap four, double wrap five, and another purl stitch, P1. And now we're coming to our last set of double wrapped purl stitches. Here you can see all of these double wrapped stitches with the individual stitches between those clumps. Now that we're on the right side of the work, we're going to start with a regular knit stitch. And now we're at that set of double wrapped stitches. We're going to transfer them purlwise, slipping each one to the right hand needle, allowing the extra wraps to fall. So now we have five elongated stitches on the right hand needle. And we're going to slip them all back to the left hand needle. And now we can work them together as if they were one stitch. You're going to insert the right hand needle into that set of five stitches as if to knit. Wrap the yarn around as if to knit. Pull that loop through just as if you're knitting, but leave those five stitches on the left hand needle. And now we're going to do a yarn over and insert that right hand needle as if to knit again into those that group of five stitches. Wrap and pull a loop through, yarn over, and for the last time we'll insert the needle as if to knit, wrap the yarn as if to knit, pull that loop through, but this time we're going to let those stitches come off the left hand needle to complete that set. Now we have a knit one, and we're going to come to the next set of double wrap stitches slipping each one to the right hand needle, allowing those extra wraps to fall. Slip those five stitches back to the left hand needle and treating them as if they were one stitch. We're going to insert the right hand needle as if to knit, wrap and pull through, yarn over, insert as if to knit, wrap, pull that loop through, yarn over, and one more time, insert, wrap, pull through, and complete that stitch. Knit one. And here we have the last set of those double wrap stitches, slipping to the right, letting the extra wraps fall, now back to the left hand needle so they can be worked together as one. Insert, wrap, pull through, yarn over. Insert, wrap, pull through, yarn over. Insert, wrap, pull through.
pull through, complete the stitch. Then we just have this one stitch left. We'll knit that stitch. So now you can start to see the sea urchin stitches forming. We have the stitches kind of angling and you can see the little holes in the middle of each one too. And then the individual stitches between. Now for our next set of sea urchin stitches, we're gonna be working on the back of the fabric, the wrong side again. And these sea urchin stitches are going to be offset from the first set. So this individual stitch from the prior row is going to be the central stitch of the sea urchin group this time. We're, we're going to start by purling a few stitches here. One, two, three, four, and now we're going to begin the double wrapping of the purl stitches. Double wrap one, double wrap two, and our third double wrap stitch is that one that was by itself before. Three, four, five. And the stitch that was the central stitch of the sea urchin last time is going to be the the P1 by itself this time. Now we'll double wrap again. Another set of five double wrap stitches. This is the second one. Here's the third one. The fourth. The fifth. And we're gonna purl to the end of the row. and go to the right side of the work. And you can start to see those first set of sea urchin stitches even better now. And we're gonna work those sea urchin stitches on this side just the way we did last time. I'm gonna get myself over to those double wrap stitches. Slip them to the right hand needle. And back to the left hand needle. Now when you're when these stitches are being worked, you want those stitches on the left hand needle to stay in their order. Don't let them overlap one another as they sometimes try to do. Those elongated stitches have a little bit more play in them than a regular stitch would. So you have to maintain a little bit of control over them to get them to stay in order. They'll look the tidiest if you keep them in order. So here's our next sea urchin stitch with the double wraps, slipping to the right hand needle, back to the left hand needle, insert wrap, pull through, Turn over, insert, wrap, pull through, yarn over, and insert, wrap, pull through, complete the stitch, and I'm going to knit to the end of the row. For this demonstration, I've been knitting English style, holding the yarn in my right hand. If you normally knit continental style, you definitely should do that here. <laughs> However you normally knit is how you should do it. This is the last set of sea urchin stitches I'm doing. And the completion of the set is to just using the contrast color, purl all the way across the row. Once we get to the end of this row, that will be the end of the contrast color for the moment. And here's our last stitch. And we can turn the work and see 
how that second set of sea urchin stitches is. So here we have the two from the first row and that one from the second row is right in between.